We're back with the latest on the Israel Hamas war. Israeli airstrikes are destroying entire neighborhoods and hospitals in Gaza. Meanwhile, Hamas militants are continuing their attacks. They fired a barrage of rockets in the southern Israel earlier this morning. The conflict has claimed at least 2,200 lives on both sides. At least 22 Americans have died. The White House says there were at least 17 people missing, and some of those are believed to be held hostage, 17 Americans, that is. The Norfolk-based USS Gerald R. Ford strike group has arrived in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. That word today from Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. Austin said the U.S. military is on standby and prepared to provide more support to Israel if needed. Mike Gooding has the latest. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said Wednesday that the Norfolk-based Navy aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford, which includes carrier air wing 8's four F-A-18 ENF Super Hornet squadrons out of Naval Air Station Oceana, had arrived off the coast of Israel days after the coordinated Hamas attack, which killed at least 1,200 people, including 22 Americans. The USS Gerald R. Ford strike group has now arrived in the eastern Mediterranean. We've also moved to extend U.S. Air Force fighter squadrons in the region. And the Department of Defense stands fully ready to deploy additional assets if necessary. The Ford Group also includes the Norfolk-based Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser USS Normandy and the Norfolk-based Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer USS Ramage. And we'll continue to ensure that Israel has what it needs to keep itself and its citizens safe. House Armed Services Committee member Jen Kagan said Wednesday it's urgent to send Hamas and other adversaries a strong message. The reason they're there is to be a deterrent. The reason they're there is not to uh, to provoke action. We're, we're trying to deter uh, any future aggression and deter war. And, and that's what being a strong nation does. And it's important that we send a very clear message that we stand with Israel. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And on Friday, another Norfolk-based carrier strike group is shipping out USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, the guided missile cruiser USS Philippine Sea, and the guided missile destroyer USS Gravely will leave from Naval Station Norfolk. The Navy says this is a regularly scheduled deployment.